and welcome to a massively requested video. Uh, you've all been asking about Jaffa and how I broke him in, so I thought I'd put it into a vlog for you guys to see. Um, literally want to make this super, super clear in the first minute. This is not a how to break a horse video. Um, I don't think those videos really should exist because realistically there isn't one way to break a horse and every horse is different so one method isn't going to work for every single horse so I want to make that really 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 clear that this isn't a how-to video this is just what I did uh, for that reason I'm not doing like a voiceover of everything and kind of like telling you guys or giving you guys advice on it I'm just going to let you see the clips like some of the clips I'll tell you why I'm doing it um, but yeah please don't take this as an advice video or something you should go and follow because Every horse is different, like I said, and yeah, you should always have someone experienced breaking a horse with you if you've never done it before. Um, and just kind of, yeah, treat them all as individuals. So now that ranty bit is out the way, we can talk about the lovely Jaffa. Actually, quickly, you're gonna notice that the camera's following me. I've got one of those, I think they're called a gimbal. I don't really know what they're called. Basically, inspired by uh, Tina and Emily from Life on the Left Brain. They had one at Olympia and then I've kind of somehow acquired one. It's a long story. Um, but yeah, I acquired one after Christmas. So I'm trying to get to grips with it, but I cannot for the life of me really work it. But I think I've just about got it set up on like the tripod mode now, but I need to watch some tech videos of what to do. But yeah, if you're liking how the camera can follow me, then uh, this is a new way of vlogging guys. Welcome to the future. So anyway, this is Jaffa. You guys probably remember I bought him from the Welsh sales back in November. He's a shared project. So me, Becky and mum all have a third stake in him. Uh, and then we all just kind of put in the work, produce him and then he will be for sale at some point. So that's kind of how that works. Um, I won't ramble on too much about him, but if you want to go and check out that other vlog, I will leave it in the link below. Maybe, don't know if I'll get around to doing that, but it was a nice thought. Uh, but he's about 14.1, he's not done growing yet, so we'll probably finish 14.2. He's Welsh D, he's got Menai breeding, and he is now rising five. So those are all the main details you really need to know about him. So like I said, this isn't like a how-to video, um, so I've just kind of mashed in a load of clips. Do you want the camera? Look what I found. Do you want that? There you go. Um, there's going to be clips missing, so please don't go in the comments like, oh my god, you didn't do this, blah, blah, blah. It probably was done, but I can't put absolutely everything in this vlog because it would be so long. Uh, another thing to mention is that Jaffa had already had some groundwork done. Obviously, if you're doing it like completely from scratch, the process would have taken a lot longer. Um, but he'd already worn tack, he'd already done a bit of lunging. I think, we don't really know if he'd been long range, but like he'd done... A little bit which is probably why he'll look a lot quicker than most horses would uh, I think that's kind of everything I have to say yeah just take it as it comes see what you think guys and without further ado enjoy watching Jaffa's journey with us so good boy, good boy. let's get some pictures of him out here good boy Oh, he's got a nice trot. Yeah. Oh god, he's trashing the paddock. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god, he says it's another pony. <laughs> that was so funny. Uh, oh, Jaffa Tron. Uh, Brinny, I'm trying to film. Uh, yeah, so nice. this is Jaff's first time having a bit in with us. We think that he might have already had a bit and done lunging or long running, Becky. Uh, maybe a little time maybe bit been on the lunge once, yeah. But not, not a lot of benefit. No. So judging by how sort of settled is in the mouth, though, we think he's all right to go and do a bit on the lunge. So we're going to pop Becky's famous breaking saddle on that matches his hair. Excuse me, I haven't <laughs> cleaned it. Yeah, then we'll catch up outside having a little lunchy pie. He's ever so happy in his mouth. He's just got a happy mouth, straight bar, full must snaffle in. Good for babies. So Jeff's first time in the school. Becky's just leading him round, letting him see all the sights. Becky's number one at all this horrible, handling, scary groundwork bit. So mum sits, I film. 
Becky's in the death seat. <laughs> thanks, thanks. <laughs> it's all right, my love. You've been a good boy, Jav Jav. Damn, Gina. Oh my God, we've got a dressage pony. Good boy, Jeff. He's got such nice, loose, floaty paces, hasn't he? Oh my God, I can't get over that trot. Woof. How nice his trot is. So effortless. Oh, he's, nice. he's so nice. This is when we realise he can't actually canter. <laughs> Walk and trot tests all day long. So he's finished lunging. He's just gonna stand a bit by the mountain block. I'll probably stand on it. Becky will walk him around me just to get him used to standing by it and having people sort of stood over him. You can do, Mum. Are you sure? Are you done relaxing? I was thinking you're like leaning over it and thinking better. <laughs> get on you, get going. There's three of you actually. Can I have a moment with Jaffa, Mum? Boy. Tucked them all over, get them used to it, bit of weight on his back like that. Just get him happy having someone in that space rather than just this space. Let me see if you had something crazy that you couldn't get near, you're not going to leave him from the first day. But yeah, exactly. Judge their personality. And You've got to shout, Becky. <laughs> Same on the other side. Style, go the wrong side. Yep. Might have to do it on the wrong side out hacking one day, Jeff. Or out hunting. Yeah. Yep. Whatever you do on one side, you do on the other. Yep. He's like, pause up. <laughs> What's she doing that side? That's so wrong, isn't it? Ha, ha, ha. 
So it's day two of school for Jaffa, starting the same as we did yesterday, walking him round, getting him to stop. So we're using like voice aids and stuff just so he knows that before we actually get on him. Um, then we're going to do some desensitising and probably a bit of long reining and then maybe I'll lean over him again at the end if all goes well. He's so handsome. Good boy. Good boy. He's also got stirrups on his saddle for the first time today. So they're just dangling about, getting him used to something by his sides. Oh, look at that trot, this pony's mega. Good boy. Okay, so starting long reining. He's obviously never done this before in his life, so poor Becky's got quite a task on her hands, hence why I'm filming. <laughs> Becky, what were you saying about why you've clipped it to the noseband, this inside rein? When I first start to long rein, well, I lunge on a circle with just a rein to the outside. And because they're not used to the outside rein, they quite often run off. So I don't like to hold on to the bit. their mouth and their bit and teach them that that hurts. And then they just keep running through it. Exactly. So yeah, basically... That, you can't do any damage to that. Trying to start him from the get-go to not be scared of the bit or anything. Not get pulled around in the mouth. And hopefully we'll have a lovely soft-mouthed pony. Boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Beautifully done. Good boy. And there we have it. Long raining. Becky does make it look very easy, but she's done it lots. So yeah. It would take me a lot longer than I normally get my uh, lunch lines in a flap. So yeah, just do this to sort of teach him steering, starting, stopping. Just get him used to those kind of aids before we've got someone on him. Good boy, Jaff. Yeah, she's there. Good man. Good boy. Good boy. Good man, Jaffa Cake. Is Becky doing her half marathon training? Becky, you're a bit on the forehand. That's better. Oh, oh, not not as graceful.
kids' flappy legs kicking you into the big fences. It's all, don't they? They're like that. I'm not going to do anything. I'm trying to let them go. The kids might want to do Jim Carner. <laughs> Every time I was doing it, he was moving. It's good for Meg's fitness, this. I should be breath. doing that. You've got to do it from the other side. You got my inhaler, Mum. <laughs> Watching his new girlfriends. Yeah. So I really want them to watch me decker. <laughs> Throw myself a bit then. Yeah, still try and keep yourself down. Just bounce enough to just literally get like a rib over the saddle bobber on. That's it. That's it. Good boy. 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 Good It does not look very flattering either. What are you trying to say? <laughs> I'm changing angle. Right, what are you doing? <laughs> Where are you, Meg? <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. What is that? I have legs. What are you using then? <laughs> <laughs> Down the centre line like this. Out, yeah. Out. I'm like a bird. Superman pose. Right, you ready? Oh god. Well, no, but okay. We're off. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Now he does feel really tense when you walk there. Good boy. I need a bit of inside leg, or? Yeah, a bit of both. Take him, <laughs> take him with your finger. Good boy. Good boy. Um, 
Okay, so it is a week into Jaffa's education. It's the following Monday from when we first started him after the sales. So we've mainly done sort of long reining, bit of lunging, and we've done loads of sort of leaning over him, flapping around. Um, and we did actually manage to get on him properly and sit up on Friday, I think it was. So yeah, now we're just doing loads of start stopping. I think you've seen a bit of a clip before. We've had some problems with like him halting. So Becky, would you like to tell us a bit more about that? We are just currently doing lots of slow, steady confidence building, walking, halting, walking, trotting, lots of transitions. Just He's had a few issues with pressure and contact on his mouth, yeah. um, which he's not liking and he's panicking with. So until we can get on and start to ride him properly, we need to address that for safety issues, obviously. Yeah, yeah, we basically want it so when we get on him, he's not surprised by having like a contact or any pressure on the reins. Because ultimately... He's used to not having someone by his head because we're going to be on top of him. Yeah, exactly. So it's just getting him as confident as possible with the long reining. We're aiming to get him sort of hacking out long reining in the next week or so. So we'll make sure we video that. But yeah, you've been really good. And even when he does sort of get panicky, he doesn't, he's not a brat about it. He sort of just needs a bit of time to think things through, don't you, Jeff? Jeff? But we'll keep you updated. Yeah, this is sort of what we're dealing with with the halting and that was quite a good one to be yeah, fair but <laughs> you can just see he gets fussy and he panics oh he says as soon as the camera's up i'm going to be an angel <laughs> good boy Yeah. So, I mean, it's obviously really hard to know because we got him from a sale. We literally didn't even speak to the owners. Um, so we knew that he had someone started him. But obviously, if you don't know exactly what's happened with them, it's quite, it can be hard to deal with it. So we're just dealing with whatever has been done. Good boy. Yeah, yeah, because we don't want we don't want him to sort of think this is a horrible experience. There's no pressure on him. Thinks there is. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So yeah, it's hard to say exactly why he sort of does this because obviously we don't want to make assumptions about what's happened. It could have been nothing that's happened to him, and this is just him being stroppy or not knowing how to deal with it. But equally, you know, he could have had. Improper starting. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good That's just to replicate my leg swinging over his bum. In the butt. Not that it should swing over his bum like this, but you know. So practicing my back hurts. Doing around the world. Right then on you get. <laughs> Becky didn't take any prisoners, did she? <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. So we'll keep feet out just for a minute, Jeff. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> right, Jeff, Jeff. Walk on. Good boy. Good boy. Good lad. Walk 
on. We've got toes in the stirrups. Yep. Good boy. And walk on, Jeff. Actually, just a toe, don't dive your whole foot through yet. <laughs> just in case. Walk on. Good a bit of, lad. Bit of medium walk trot. On. Yep. Good boy. Bit of PF. Simple change. Good boy. <laughs> walk on. Good lad. Good boy. Lots of changes in our direction now. Walk on. Good boy. Good. Good lad. Walk on. Good. Today is quite an exciting day for Jaffa because he's just got his Morrison sponsorship and he's uh, he's wearing their bags as he trots around. He's literally <laughs> he's only had them on for like four laps. He's being so good. And you'll see we've got some very very baggy side reins there. So obviously side reins shouldn't be used for wrenching their heads in, but they are quite good just to replicate a bit of contact for when a rider gets on because he's had a bit of an issue with contact. We don't really know why, but he has. We wanted to make sure that he's happy just having baggy side reins on before we sort of, you know, go off the lead when we ride him. Clever boy. But yeah, these bags are just a really good idea to get them used to flapping and stuff around their sides before you get on and uh, get trotting without a leader. Good boy. <laughs> I can't believe how good he's being with those. Good boy, they're very rustly. Hi. So Jaffa has graduated and he's now walking off the lead rein. How exciting, Jaff! <laughs> he's a bit confused, he tries to follow me a bit at the start. Good boy. This is one of the trickiest days with youngsters because he's been used to having someone at his head or someone behind him directing him. So now it's him getting used to someone on top directing him. He's actually been very good. Brave Becky having a trot off the lead. Good boy. Good, good. <laughs> so yeah, those little scooty bits are very normal, but you'll see Becky's very good at this because she just keeps them going forward, doesn't get unbalanced. Good boy, Jaff. Good boy. Well done. What a clever little man. So yeah, the important thing is when they do those scooty off things and get worried that so you just keep doing the same as what you were. Don't let them sort of stop because then they think they had something to be scared of. So just calm them, keep them going forward, get a few more nice strides and then reward them with letting them walk or halt. You were so clever. That was a lot of trot jab. Just fast, Meg. <laughs> Way fast. Good 
boy, Ja. Okay, today Jaffa's going on his first hack. Solo, well, with us, but none on him. Just walking down the track now. Been such a good boy. Tracy's seen cars around the car park yeah. when he was fine, wasn't it? It's not like he's never ever seen them. It's more like, see, I don't want him to finish it, but he has to Yeah, it. exactly. What? Good. Shall I go back in front? Good boy. Good lad. Careful with your feet, yeah? Also careful with me. You're a cool sausage. Becky, run! Oh god, I'm out of breath for running up here. Whew. What a cutie. <laughs> Things we do for horses. I'm my pyjama top. <laughs> right, Becky! <laughs> nope. Oh my god, that was a long hill. Take me with you. So today is the day of Jaffa's first ridden hack. Bear is ready and tacked up to go. I'm going to ride Bear Bear. Um, but we're just giving him a little spin around the arena to make sure we have start and stop. And then we'll go out and do the hack that he's been long reined around. Oh, he's so good drudding. So here we have it. Jaffa's first ever ridden hack. Oh and you're being such a clever boy. <laughs> so yeah, we've not had any problems with him long reining around this hack. So it's a nice, quiet, I say it's quiet. There's loads of kids screaming. Quiet Sunday morning. So we thought today is as good a day as any to yeah. get him out. Seen a couple of cars? Yeah. Very good boy. And Bear's quite liking being the lead pony. Hey, Jeff, Jeff. We've got our emergency lead rope attached if people are wondering about that. Just in case we need to lead him at any point. Oh, we've got a car coming. You're such a good boy. This is questionable filming because I'm on a horse. So for everyone that's about to comment, you're filming so jolty. Don't bother. I know. <laughs> so Hive is Hobbit up there. Oh, that's a better way. There we go. This is smoother, guys. Oh, beautiful scenery. Little ginger beautiful pony. Pony. <laughs> this is the man. Ooh, very good boy, Jaff Jaff. Good boy. Go, Jaffa. Bear's actually being sensible for once. <laughs> oh my god, this is such odd work! Two weeks in. Because you oh, are good pony. Fat or broken pony. Very impressed with her new uh, party trick with Jaffa. Jaffa. 
Honestly, it's like Becky's a kid again with a pony club pony that she spends all day with. <laughs> I'm stealing the ride on her uh, steed today, though. You're not very happy about it, are you? <laughs> it's going to be a shared project, this. <laughs> oh, dear. She I like Becky doing all this bit. Hey? Yeah. I mean, you somewhat ruined the image because all I can see is you careering around. <laughs> Good boy, Jav. What's his name, Meg? I can't remember. Well, he's called Jaffa. Trump's done. <laughs> I can't remember what his sire is. I'm having a debate. Trump's done. Trump, 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 Trump. Good boy. I know what should happen. The loser buys a box of Jaffa Trump's cakes. <laughs> Next, we know Trump's she's going to be the loser. <laughs> Just like two. Such a cutie. Drop done. Oi. This is how I always do it, my girl. Well, you you got to do this at least. <laughs> Don't want to take you anywhere in public behaving like that. <laughs> Good boy. Well done. Right, Jaffa Cake, let's have one last try. Done. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> well done! <laughs> have you done this before? Good boy. Jab. Oh. It's 
first canter in the school. Had a tiny little one on grass the other day. What? You are so cool, Jaff. And you, Becky. Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! <laughs> He's a little draw. Good boy! Look at you on the right lead! Good boy! Well done! So yeah, let him catch his breath back very quickly once he's done it. <laughs> Good boy, well done, Jabs. Good boy. Oh, what a pro. Good boy. Good boy, Jaffa. Good boy. Sun's changed place now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we're going for a big jump, but maybe not. It's only bear that overreacts, Meg. Oh, it's everything. Look Man, at that trot! Oh, I've lost it. I'm so excited. Yay! Beautiful. Oh, oh, good boy! Little upright, okay, or, yep, yep, yep. or not.
Good boy. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. Oh, yes. Good boy. Oh. Yes. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. We just appreciate the star of the show. Literally walked up to it, bit it to make sure it was cool, and then just walked on. Meanwhile, this little baby pony doesn't want to go on it. Good boy, Jaff. Too cool for school. You are so cool. So Becky's done the entire course in about three minutes with Jaffa, so she's having a little break. <laughs> nice brolly that. Poke yourself in the eye. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, really nice. <laughs> You know, because I've got a springer. I wanted a springer from me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a good boy. Good boy. Hope you all enjoyed watching that, guys. Like I said, it's not meant to be a how to video. It's simply what we did with Jaffa. It worked with him. It might not work with your horse at home. So make sure you seek proper advice uh, when it comes to breaking in and backing horses. Um, so after you saw that last clip, Jaff actually had a month off. I think it's really, really important that youngsters have a bit of time off after they've been broken, just to digest things and think about it a bit. As you know, Sally is doing the same, but she's a bit younger, so she's having longer off. But yeah, so now he's come back into work. He's been in work about a week now. Um, and he's been so good, he was literally so easy to bring back. So he's going to start doing some schooling and a bit more jumping now. And then, like I said at the start of the video, he will be up for sale in a couple of months, I imagine. Oh, I also need to mention that he's just had his first set of shoes on, which is also exciting. You're a big boy now, yes you are. But yeah, hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Um, I know it wasn't exactly what some of you had hoped for, because you like it when I do voiceovers and sort of tell you exactly what's going on but I was very conscious not to have this as a how to break a horse video. I know I've said that a million times but I could not want to drum that point home more. Anyway thanks for watching make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you very very soon. Bye!